Good morning, you all. Welcome to this place. Welcome, Brother Andre, into this, this broken vessel. Sister Kim, you desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands. Good morning, Sister Sharice. We lift our hearts. Good morning, Sister Bernadine, Sister Loretta. We offer up this praise unto your name. Good morning, Reverend Brown, Reverend Brown. Welcome. Good morning, Pudding. Follow to this place. Good morning, Miss Monica. Welcome, Brother Horace. Good morning to this broken vessel. Good morning, Sister Tina. You desire to abide. Good morning, Chairman, in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts. Good morning, Brother Stan. We offer up this praise unto your name. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody, welcome oh, to this place. Oh, welcome, Sister Robinette, into this, this broken vessel. Sister Tiasia. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts. Since we offer up this praise unto your name. Sister Patricia, oh, welcome. To this place, Brother Lonnie, Deacon Banks, welcome, Reverend Hill, into this, this broken vessel, you desire to abide in the praises of your people, so we lift our hands, what a blessed morning. We lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto your name. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We lift our hands and we lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto your name. Say we lift our hands and we lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto your name. Sister Johnson, good morning. We lift our hands. Hey, Pat. And we lift our hearts. Say we offer up this praise unto your name. Sister Laverne, we lift our hands, yeah, as we offer up this praise, yeah, Lord, unto your holy, holy, holy name. Good morning, Brother Lonnie. We offer up this praise unto your name. Amen and amen. God bless you all on this morning. My apologies, amen, that we got a, a late start, but... Uh, Technology is doing its own thing this morning. I got shut down on every front, and yet 
amen, God is still, amen, able to do that which the enemy would try to stop from happening, amen. And so we're able to finally get on, amen. Uh, gotta have, gotta have the net, gotta have the net to be able to broadcast. And so, uh, but the enemy, amen, is not going to keep us from what we have been appointed to do this morning, Miss Karen. And so we had to make a way out of no way. It cost us a few minutes, amen. But amen, we're not going to be before you long this morning because this story is not a long story. Somebody, come on, help me, Holy Spirit. So my brothers and sisters, on this resurrection, this Easter Sunday, I say grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I echo the words of Psalm 118.24, amen, on this early Sunday morning as we declare, amen, that not only is our Lord, amen, a risen Savior, amen, but because he lives, amen, uh, we can rejoice in this day. Yes, this is a day that the Lord has made, but because he lives, no matter what your situation and no matter what your circumstance, help me, Holy Ghost, we can, we we shall, we will rejoice and be glad in it. And so I want to thank you this morning for joining us, amen, on our sunrise service, amen. Uh, uh, whether you are a member of Piney Branch or a friend or family, amen, you are welcome here. And so we just want to thank you for coming on in this morning. Uh, we miss being down at the house of worship on 10727 Piney Branch Road. But amen, but while we are still able, while we got strength in our body, we shall continue to do what the Lord said do. And amen, and let folks know that even in these crazy and uncertain times, that there is a risen Savior who is Christ the Lord. And for those who don't know where to turn and don't know where to go, amen, the Bible makes it clear that whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so this morning, amen, I, somebody said, you're going to do service a little bit different. Well, just a little different, but not a whole lot different. Amen. We're still going to take time out to, amen, bless the Lord for what he's done. Amen. If we were at Piney Branch this morning, this would be our only service for the day. And we would get it all in this morning. And, and then that way, when it's all over, amen, we would uh, go downstairs and eat breakfast and, 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 and fellowship together. And so we're not together, amen, in the building, amen, but we're still going to have our service this morning, amen. We're still going to, we ain't going to shortcut nothing. And so I want to take a minute, y'all, uh, while we got chance this morning, come on, let's take a minute and we're going to just bless the Lord on this day, amen. It's been another hectic week for a whole lot of folks. And I don't know uh, whether or not you have had an opportunity to bless the Lord in all that he has done for you. And so this morning, I'm going to ask you, amen, we're going to take a minute uh, uh, while we got an opportunity. Uh, Sister Comfort, amen, Miss Marilyn, we're going to take an opportunity. Uh, we call it a pause for the cause, amen, where we've been rushing around all week long, but have not taken the time to count our many blessings one by one. And so we're going to break away from the normal program, amen. We're going to put our schedule written stuff down one more Sunday, amen. And we're going to take a minute to, amen, not just count our blessings one by one, but we're going to take a minute to name them, amen. We're going to put it in the chat. So come on, y'all. Let's take a pause for the cause. Amen. Uh, because, amen, I've said it over and over again. Why are we taking a pause for the cause? Because you could be in the hospital. Because you could be homeless on the street. Because you could, amen, be somewhere, amen, being dressed up for your final service. Amen. But God, amen, has stepped into your situation. But God, amen, has kept you one more time. And so while the music is playing this morning, I want you to put it in the chat. Let the Lord know, amen. God, I thank you for what you've done on my behalf. Come on, I'm going to do it. Give you a, 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 old, a old song this morning. Amen. We're gonna we gonna go old school. This it's amen. Resurrection Sunday. Come on. And so we're gonna just take a minute to just uh sing one of those hymns, amen. Familiar hymn. Come on, somebody. Yes, to just remind us, amen, of what God has done. That you can't depend on your job, and many times you can't depend on your family. 
but you can lean on the everlasting arms. Come on, put it in the chat. A fellowship was a joy divine. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. Come on, put it in the chat. Leaning, oh, I'm leaning, yeah, and secure from all alarms. I'm leaning, come on, y'all, put it in the chat. Leaning, come on, Sister Kim, leaning on the everlasting arm. Come on, let him know what you're thankful for. Oh, how sweet to walk. In this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arms. Tell him, Miss Randy. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Anybody leaning this morning? Leaning. Oh, we're leaning. Yes, we are safe and secure from all along. We are leaning. Come on, somebody. Come on, say, God, I thank you. Leaning for your grace, for your mercy. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Come on, song almost over. What hell I to dread? Oh, what? Have I to fear leaning on the everlasting arms? I have peace all complete with my Lord so dear. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, oh, I'm leaning. Come on, somebody, I'm saying. And secure from all along. I'm leaning. Oh, yeah, I'm leaning. Oh, leaning on the everlasting. Of last opportunity. Leaning. Better put it in there. Come on. Leaning. Oh, we are safe and secure from all along, leaning, leaning, we are leaning on the everlasting arms. Amen. Somebody leaning this morning. Is anybody leaning this morning? Anybody leaning on the everlasting arms. Amen. And so, my brothers and my sisters, I've got the prayer list here with me. Amen. I know you've got people on your heart that you want to pray for. I know you got people, amen, that you want to uh, bless. Amen. And so, this morning, uh, we're going to ask, amen, that not only do you, amen, um, keep those people in your heart and your prayers, but I've been, amen, said, as I said last week, I, the Lord has prompted me, amen, that there might be some folks who are with us this morning, amen, who are going through some things. And you need some prayer your own self or you need prayer for your family member. I don't, might not have your name on the list, but God's got your name on the list. So while the music is playing this morning and while we're praying, amen, I'm going to ask you to go ahead, put your prayer request in the chat. And watch the Lord work it out. Somebody, amen, know what I'm talking about this morning. Come on, put your prayer requests in the chat, amen, while we pray this morning and we ask God to make a way out of no way. Come on, put it in the chat. Yes, on this Sunday morning. Come on, put it in the chat. Come on, whatever your prayer is, whatever that you need, bring it to the virtual altar on this morning. Come on, we're going to pray. God, we bless you on this morning for the prayer, amen, the opportunity and the privilege to come to you in prayer, to lift up these folks, God, 
who are on our list, our written list, and God, who are on the list of our heart. God, on this morning, Father, those, those requests that are in our chat this morning, those, God, who know no other help to look for except to you. God, we are standing at the spiritual altar this morning, believing and trusting with all our heart, soul, and mind that, God, that you are able to step in and work out our situation and our circumstance. God, whether we be sick, amen, in the body, we know that you are a healer. Whether, God, we've got a storm, amen, in our home, we know, God, that you are a mighty counselor. God, where there's situations and circumstances where we can't see no way out, God, we know that you are a great shepherd. God, where there, amen, might be want and need in our life, Father, we know you are Jehovah Jireh, you are a great provider. God, where we need salvation and we need saving, we know you are Jesus who is the Christ. And so on this morning, God, we lay all things at your feet. We put it all there, God, knowing that you can do anything but fail. You said and you promised that you will supply our every need through your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And so we come to you, the only help we know, asking you to make a way out of no way. God, we don't have to wait till we see our change come, but we already know it's a done deal. So in advance, God, we give your name glory. We give your honor. We give your praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, somebody bless the Lord with me this morning. Come on, come on, come on. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ, his son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ, his son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Come on, we're going to thank Him right now. We're going to bless Him right now for the breakthrough. Come on, right now. Come on, give Him some praise right now for answering your prayer right now for making a way out of no way right now come on we gonna bless the lord come on take about a two seconds to just bless him bless him bless him bless him bless him bless him for what he's done come on come on come on take a minute right now to thank him for your breakthrough take a minute right now to thank him amen for providing take a minute right now amen for giving you your peace of mind take a minute right now for making a way out of no way come on bless him bless him bless him bless him right now hallelujah 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 yes and give thanks Woo, lord give thanks yes give thanks come on come on hallelujah hallelujah Woo! for god making a way out of no way come on somebody he's moving in your life right now Give thanks. He's moving obstacles out of your way. Give thanks. He's, amen, getting you up over the rough hill. Give thanks. He's making a way, making a way. Woo! Come on, somebody. Come on. Bless him, bless him, bless him. Give thanks. Because he is a risen Savior, y'all. Come on. Give thanks. Because he sits high and he looks low. 
give thanks. And he's making intercession for you and I. Amen. On our behalf. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Come on, somebody. Give thanks. Oh, this is the Sunday that Jesus, amen, got up. Come on. Give thanks. We're going to bless the Lord on this day if you've never blessed him before. Give thanks. Come on, put your hands together. Put your mind, heart, your, lift up your praise. Amen. Shout hallelujah to the Lord this morning. And give thanks. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is... Amen. The Resurrection Sunday. This is the Easter Sunday. Amen. This is it. This is it. This is it, y'all. If you don't know, no other time that we ought to shout, amen, to the top of our lungs, this is the Sunday that we shout. Amen. And so I don't know about nobody else, but I'm just glad to be in the number one more time. Amen. Amen and amen. So, so it is first Sunday. Amen. And as it, as, I, as it is first Sunday, I want to take a minute, amen, to say happy birthday um, to those who have birthdays during the month of, of, uh, 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 of um, April. Help me, Holy Spirit. Had, had, a, had a moment there during the, the month of April. Amen. And, and, and just hoping and praying that the Lord, amen, is making a way out of no way in your life. Amen. But not only that but that you might, amen, have an opportunity, amen, to just have a good time on your birthday, amen. We pray that God will make a, a, a your day a very special day, whatever day it is. I want to give a special shout out, amen. I know my, my friend, my brother, my friend, amen, uh, um, and he will want me to call his name this morning, Brother Stan Fisher. Uh, had a birthday, amen, on yesterday. And then, y'all, uh, Mama Keller, good morning, Miss Mom. And then uh, our, our armor bearer for this family, our friend, my sister in Christ, amen, who has, amen, watched over me and my family all these years and has helped us out, amen. We want to give Miss Jo a shout out this morning. Her birthday is today. I won't tell y'all how old she is, but I will tell you her birthday is today. And so to those folks who are having a, a birthday this morning, let me go ahead and do this, this special thing for you, if you don't mind. I know it's Resurrection Sunday, but amen, we bless the Lord. We have life and we have birthdays because he lives. And so come on, y'all, sing with me this morning. Let's just sing happy birthday to these folks. Come on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right, mom and pop fishing. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Now, don't know if anybody got a, uh, 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 hey, Miss Shawnees, God bless you. Don't know if anybody has an anniversary during the month of January, but, um, uh, but if you got an anniversary, amen, you better let me know real quick because I don't have none on my list right here. But if you got an anniversary during the month of, amen, January, uh, April, keep saying January, April, amen, then God bless you. Oh, we got a whole bunch of things. Thanks, you, Sister Robinette, Miss Barbara, amen, Sheila Samuels, amen. Uh, we got a whole bunch of folks. Uh, <laughs> Miss Marilyn, you're crazy. That's got birthday, Sister Brenda McKay, amen, you and Dupree, that's right, fam, that's right, thank you, Shanice, you and Dupree, I know y'all in April, amen, all y'all April babies, amen, God bless you, God bless you, I um, want to thank you, amen, for just giving me an opportunity to do a shout out, Kevin and Brenda, okay, all right, well, that was my, that's my family, y'all, come on, let's sing uh, happy anniversary to brother Kevin and sister Brenda, that's that family right there, so come on, y'all take a minute, let's sing. Happy, happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary everybody, happy anniversary to you, amen. 
amen. And as a pastor used to say, amen, the honeymoon ain't over until you say it's over. Amen. Uh, and so may God continue to bless you. Amen. In uh, Sister sister uh, Shanice and my friend, Brother Dupree, their anniversary. Amen. Uh, so God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And so my friends, my brothers and sisters, come on. We got to keep it moving. Amen. I'm a, I know I'm a little behind and you'll turn me off after a while. And so come on. I want to just take a minute to... Um, to, to have our offering, we want to take a minute to lift it up. Y'all know what the Bible declares. It says that the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Y'all, wh where is that at, Pastor? 2 Corinthians 9, 7. Each of us should give, amen, what we have decided in our heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. That's what the word says. And so, amen, while, while I'm going to give you one minute to go get your stuff together, just a minute, but only a minute, amen, for you to go ahead and get your stuff together, amen, get your offering together, and then we're going to, amen, take a minute to sing the doxology, and uh, so come on, come on, you got a minute, come on, you only got a minute, and then we're going we're gonna to shut it down, you should already have your offer, remember the sermon from last month when you care enough to, amen, give the very best, you should already have your offering prepared. Don't wait till the very last minute, but know what you're going to give God. Pray over it. Amen. Whatever it lays on his heart, what he has purposed in your heart to give, that's what you ought to, amen, get together. Come on, come on. I'm going to give you a minute. When God made man, yes, he did. It's in his plan that we live blessed. Come on. Get your offering together. You got a minute. You got a minute. Come on. And then we fell. We were deemed to live a life. A life that's beautiful. Yes. Give you a minute while the music is playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't act like you. Amen. Come on. Get Bless the Lord. Let's get back to Eden and live on top of the world. Let's get back to Eden and live on top of the world. Let's get back to Eden and live on top of the world. Let's get back to Eden and live on top of the world. Families bless, finances bless, our mind and spirit, and our body is bless. Come on, come on. I ain't going to, hey, we're going to stop right there. You ought to already have it. You ought to already have it. Amen. We're not going to take a whole lot of time. Amen. So you ought to already have your offering together. Amen. You ought to already be ready. You ought to already know what the Lord is going to give you. That's right. Bernadine and Maurice. I forgot about y'all. Y'all just had an anniversary. I just sent y'all a, a, a shout out yesterday in, in Facebook. Amen. Come on. Let's pray. God, we thank you for an opportunity to give a portion of what you have given to us back to you. Prayer is, God, that you would now take our little bit, do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think with it. Bless those, God, who had to give and special blessing on those who had it not to give. Our prayer is, God, that you would open up the windows of heaven, pour them out a blessing so that they, too, might have an opportunity to give when the opportunity presents itself. We thank you now, God, with all that you have given us. God, we've given back to you as you have, amen, instructed. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Let the church say, amen and amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, you all. And so you all should know where we're going to go this morning to Luke 24. 
We're going to start, amen, in verse 1. Give you a chance to go get your Bibles. Come on, Luke 24, verse 1. Luke 24, verse 1. Luke 24, amen. Deacon Bob and Deaconess Winston, amen. God bless y'all. Come on, Luke 24, verse 1. Go get your Bibles. Go get your Bibles. Get, get your Bible. Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. Come on, Luke 24. Yeah, Luke 24, Luke 24. Come on, come on. All right, all right. Those who read, amen. If you're a fast reader, slow down. If you're a slow reader, speed up. Here's what the word of God says. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away. From the sepulchre, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass that they were much perplexed thereabout. Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke. He spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and the third day rise again. Amen. We want to use for a subject this morning. Amen. It's the third day he has risen. It's the third day he has risen. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's the third day he has risen. Yeah. So take a minute. Come on, let's pray. God, we just thank you for giving us the opportunity this morning to lift up your word one more time. Pray that you would look past this weak, physical touch spirit. Make preaching easy. God, give us all you got so that we might give all that you've given us to your lamb and your sheep. Help save this morning. Deliver a man redeemed on this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, somebody. Somebody bless the Lord. Bless his name. Come on. Bless his name. Bless his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is a special day. Ain't it a special day? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, somebody. Let's bless the, bless the Lord. Come on, here we go. Bread of life sent down from glory. Many things you were on earth. A holy king, a carpenter. You are the living word. Bread of heaven. Sent down from glory, many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter, you are the living word. Come on, sing with me. Bread of heaven, yes, sent down from glory, many things. Yeah, you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter, you are the living word. Listen, awesome ruler, gentle redeemer, God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you. You are the living word. Come on, y'all sing with me. Awesome ruler. Yes. Gentle redeemer. God with us. God with us. The living true. And what a friend we have in you. You are the living word. Come on. Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call you. You made your born, put on a tree, 
you died to save humanity. You are the living word. Come on. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> That's what we call you. Made you born, put on a tree. You died to save humanity. You are the living word. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call you. Made you born, put on a tree. You died to save humanity. You are the living word, yeah. Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you. You made your born, put on a tree. You died to save humanity. You are the living word. Oh, come on, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 you are the living word, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, 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 my Jesus, oh, 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 Come from your spirit. Oh, 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 Jesus, Jesus, oh, 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 you are the living word, Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you, Jesus, Jesus, oh, 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 the living word. Hallelujah. 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 You are the living word. Amen. Bless the Lord of my soul. And so, amen, today, amen, we've come together this morning to celebrate, my brothers and sisters, one of the greatest events in the history of mankind. For it was over 2,000 years ago on a morning like this that Jesus of Nazareth, amen, who came through 40 and two generations, born of a virgin Mary in a place called Bethlehem, fulfilled Old Testament prophecy by not only offering his life as a ransom for many so that we might all be saved, but amen. Amen. On this morning, amen, where the scriptures of, amen, of the prophets, amen, became true on this day, we know that when they got to the tomb, amen, we heard and we read in the scripture that he was not there. They said, amen, for he is risen. Amen. Bless the Lord of my soul. Gospel writer, amen, wrote, amen, that it was because God so loved the world that he sent, amen, his only begotten son, that whosoever believes on him, whosoever has faith in him, whosoever has trust in him might have eternal life. And I don't know about you this morning, but I'm excited about today. Um, it's good news, y'all, that says that no matter who we are, amen, what whether you're a man, woman, a boy, or a girl, whether your life is messed up, amen, from the floor up, amen, no matter whether we are, the fact that we were on our way to a burning hell from the day that we were born, that we now have an opportunity to overcome hell, death, and the grave just by confessing with our mouth and believing in our heart that God has raised his only son, Jesus, from the dead. And so we got to understand, y'all, 
the importance of what was done on our behalf and what it means to us, amen, as we go about our day-to-day -day living. I know some of y'all asking, Pastor, what's the big deal? He lived, he died, he rose. Why is that so important? Amen. Well, it's important because the scripture makes it plain, y'all, that he bore our griefs and he carried our sorrows. And yet, amen, we esteem him smitten. He was smitten by God and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the word declares that the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Uh, and it was by his stripes that we are healed. And so you, amen, might think, amen, that this day is about new clothes. You might think that this day is about, amen, colored eggs and about little bunnies and about getting your hair done and getting your nails done, even if you ain't got nobody to show it off to. Amen. But I've come to let somebody know that this day is about the good news, that when it became impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away the sins of man, that Jesus himself declared, God, you prepared a body for me. I'm going to come to do your will. I'm going to take away the first in order to establish the second. Uh, and the Bible Bible says that after having offered one sacrifice for sin and having now offered, amen, and settled the debt for all time, the, the word declares that the word became flesh and it dwelt among us and we beheld his glory and the glory was as the only begotten son of the father, full of grace and truth. The Bible says that he was Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. And so the good news this morning, my brothers and sisters. It's God. It's Jesus was all God, but yet he was also man. The good news, y'all, is that he came to earth to be sin that he wasn't, but he never stopped being the God that he was. Uh, the good news this morning is that God in the spirit, amen, could, wouldn't save us from heaven. Uh, only God in the flesh on earth could come and do that and die for us. That justice required that a man without sin come and undo what a man in sin had done. Justice required uh, that an unblemished lamb be killed. Justice required uh, that a holy sacrifice be made. Justice required, amen, that only the son of the living God in the flesh could get the job done. Uh, if you understand that, uh, you understand why we ought to be rejoicing this morning about the good news that yes, Jesus came. Uh, yes, Jesus was crucified. Yes, Jesus was buried. But the good news is on the third day he rose. Uh, and the great news is because he rose, uh, we're no longer bound by death because he rose. Uh, we've got victory over the grave because he rose. Uh, we've even got victory over the power and the penalty of sin. You heard the scripture this morning that the physical body of Jesus was not there when they came looking for him on the third day morning. And that's a big deal. That makes him special. That gives us hope this morning that no matter what life throws at us, COVID-19 to COVID-19 plus C, that even when physical death comes, that we can still be of good cheer because Jesus said, help me, Holy Ghost, amen, that we're going to have trouble. And we're going to have tribulations, but to be of good cheer because he had overcome the world. Oh, help me, God. There's only one we know that has eyewitness accounts from the very soldiers that were designed to keep watch over the grave. So the disciples couldn't steal him. Y'all know what I'm talking about this morning. There's only one, y'all, I said this morning, uh, only one uh, who's promised to get up. Uh, from death after three days. There's only one who claimed, amen, the Lamb of God who could lay down his life to claim, pick it up and claim the title of the Christ. There is only one author and finisher of our faith, amen, for the word says, for who the joy was set before him, he endured the cross. There's only one who despised the shame. There's only one that after he had offered up his sin, sacrifice for sins forever. There's only one, help me, Holy Ghost, that got up from the grave and is now sitting at the right hand of the throne of God. And I know there's some this morning who are like a Thomas, amen, in our midst. 
and you're saying, Pastor, I want to celebrate. Pastor, I want to rejoice. But the reality is I wasn't there. Amen. I didn't get to see it with my own eyes. Amen. Not to mention that was over 2,000 years ago. Amen. But I want to let you know, amen, that that's the problem is the world has blinded us. The enemy has blinded us and got us, amen, thinking that the day is about shiny stuff that we hold in our hands. Stuff, shiny stuff that we can see with our eyes. Amen. But I've come to tell somebody this morning that this day is not about stuff that you can hold, nor stuff that you can see, not stuff that you can fix up, not, amen, nails that can get done. But God says, amen, and we learned in Bible study, don't fix our eyes on the stuff that's, amen, seen. For that stuff which is seen is temporary. But we need to fix our eyes on the unseen. We need to fix our eyes, amen, on the hills. We need to fix our our eyes, amen, on him who sits on the right hand of the Father. Fix our eyes on the stuff faith is made up because without that kind of faith in the Son, uh, it's impossible to please God. And so this morning, I don't know about you, uh, but my faith and my hope is built on the promise, amen, that Jesus got up, amen, that he is a soon to return Savior. And so my hope is built on nothing less uh, than Jesus' blood and his righteousness because I believe that God, amen, the son is not dead, uh, that he rose and he lives. I didn't need to be there on the first day of the week, amen, to be there in the morning when they came bringing spices. I didn't need to be there to find the stone rolled away. I didn't need to be there when they didn't found the body, when they saw the two angels in shining garments tell the truth, the good news, amen. Why seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. I didn't need to be there to hear them say, amen. Remember what he said, that the son of man will be delivered into the sinful, amen, hands of sinful men crucified, amen, and risen on the third day. No, I wasn't there to see that, but neither was I there to witness what happened on, amen, that, amen, day, crucifixion day. I wasn't there when the, amen, Passion Week started with the riot in the city. I wasn't among those who were shouting Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. I wasn't there at the end of the week, amen, when Judas betrayed him and the guards arrested him in the garden. I wasn't there when the kangaroo courts, amen, Man, took him from place to place and Pilate, amen, uh, knew that he should let him go, but he failed him by, amen, listening to the church folk of the day who were, amen, hollering out, crucify him, crucify him. I wasn't there and neither were you uh, when the soldiers beat him. We weren't there when they crowned his head with thorns and, amen, made him carry his cross. We weren't there when they put the nails in his hands and the nails in his feet when they stretched him him high, amen, and hung him wide. We weren't there when he's, amen, was on the cross uh, from the beginning of the sixth hour to the ninth hour. We wasn't there to hear him say, Father, forgive them, uh, for they know not what they do. We weren't there to hear him tell the thief, uh, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. We didn't hear him speak to John and Mary when he said, woman, uh, behold thy son and son, uh, behold thy mother. We weren't there when he hollered out to the Father. Father, my God, my God, uh, why hast thou forsaken me? Uh, we weren't there to hear him say, uh, I thirst. We didn't hear him cry out, it is finished. Uh, we didn't watch the redemptive chapter close with the words, Father, into thy hands. Uh, I command thy spirit. None of us were physically there. But even though we weren't there to see it uh, with our own eyes, we know by faith uh, that the good news, that, amen, that was declared that day uh, that the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Uh, we know that the word, amen, cannot fail. Uh, we know the good news of that day is true. Uh, that, amen, the flesh, the word dwell among us uh, and we beheld his glory. The glory of the only begotten son of the father, full of grace and the truth. We weren't there. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, but we know, amen, that this is a celebration of the fact that even though we weren't there, 
hell, and even though we didn't see it, uh, we know by faith, amen, from the word that we read this morning, that the physical body of Jesus Christ uh, was no longer in the tomb uh, where they had placed him, amen, on that Friday, when they got there on the third day morning. Uh, and the thing that makes us excited this morning is that makes Jesus the carpenter from Galilee, Jesus the, amen, man from Nazareth, the man who was a carpenter, has now become the Christ. Uh, that makes him the Messiah. That makes him the Redeemer. That makes him the Deliverer. That makes him the King of Kings. Uh, and that makes him the Lord of Lords. Uh, because this same Jesus, uh, who being in the form of God, uh, and thought it not robbery to be equal with God, uh, but made of himself no reputation, uh, and took upon himself the form of a servant, uh, and was made in the likeness of man, uh, and being found in fashion, amen, in the fashion as a man, uh, had humbled himself, and uh, become obedient unto death, uh, even the death of the cross, uh, and because of that, y'all, God rewarded him, uh, because of that, uh, God, amen, has highly exalted him, uh, and gave him a name, uh, that's above every name, uh, because of his sacrifice, uh, and the fact that he rose, uh, my Bible says, uh, that the name of Jesus, uh, every knee shall bow, uh, that at the name of Jesus, uh, every tongue shall confess, uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord, uh, to the glory of God the Father, and it's a matter of faith, uh, what you can't see, amen, don't mean nothing, uh, but faith tells us, uh, that we walk by faith, uh, and not by sight, uh, and the word makes it clear that he has risen and now he lives. Uh, I'm not knocking nobody else's religion this morning uh, because there are a lot of religions that say that they got a savior. But if you go, amen, go visit the savior's graves where they were buried, you'll find them still there. I'm not knocking nobody's religion, but the founder of Baha is still buried. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm not knocking nobody's religion, but the founder of Buddhism uh, is still buried. I'm not knocking Knocking nobody's religion, uh, but the founder of the Seventh Day Adventist is still buried. Uh, I'm not knocking nobody's religion. Come on, somebody! But the Amen founder of the Mormons is still buried. Amen. Uh, and I just all I can say is uh, that for us, we are to be jumping up and down uh, because they can't see their Savior because he's buried six feet under. But you and I, Amen, get to meet with our Savior every. Every day, uh, because our Savior is no longer buried. Uh, our Savior is everywhere. Our Savior, amen, is spirit. Uh, and we get to worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, he's no longer a physical body in the ground. Uh, but our Savior got up. Uh, our Savior is alive. Uh, our Savior is a risen Savior. He, amen. Our witness accounts uh, tell us he's gone. Uh, the soldiers tell us uh, that he's gone. Uh, the disciples tell us uh, that he's gone, uh, that the word that he spoke, uh, that said, amen, that they're going to come and destroy this temple, but in three days, uh, I'm going to raise it up. Uh, the words that he declared, uh, that I am the resurrection and the life, uh, I am the author and finisher of your faith. Uh, these words, amen, were spoken by him uh, who got up on the third day and now sits at the right hand of the Father at the throne of God. And if that ain't enough to make you shout on this morning, on this resurrection morning, you definitely ought to shout when you think about the fact that now that Jesus has borne our sins on the cross and now that he has borne the curse of the law, Amen. That where the law, the curse of the law being death, that through him, y'all, and through his resurrection, you and I now have the victory. Can somebody shout about that this morning? That we've got the victory in Christ because he no longer is in the grave, y'all. Amen. We got victory over everything. Thanks be to God that he gives us the victory, Paul said. 
through Jesus Christ. Why do we, amen, shout? Uh, because we got that Paul, amen, seed inside of us sometimes uh, where Paul says that which I ought to do, I don't do. And that which I ought to not do, that's the stuff I do. Uh, I know the right thing to do, but I do the wrong thing. And I know the wrong thing to do, but I do it in a hell. It's not me, but it's a sin that's in me. It's not me, but it's because I'm clothed in sinful flesh. It's not me, but it's because, amen, of Adam that the sin seed is passed down and made me naughty by nature. But I'm glad this morning that through the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ that I'm able, help me Holy Ghost, to rise up above and beyond the curse of the law and through Christ, amen, I might have and you might have and we might have uh, everlasting life. Uh, I'm glad, amen, songwriter said uh, God sent his son. Uh, they called him Jesus. Uh, he came to love, uh, heal, and forgive. Uh, he lived and died uh, to buy our pardon and an empty grave uh, is there to prove uh, our Savior lives. Uh, I don't know about nobody else this morning, but the good news is uh, that because he got up, uh, that while we are in this life, uh, you and I can still get up. Uh, that no matter the situation, uh, we can still get up. Uh, that no matter what comes against us, uh, we can still get up. Uh, we might get knocked down, uh, but because he came, uh, because he died, uh, and because he rose, uh, because he got up, uh, and because he lives, uh, you and I can still get up. Uh, they man, we can be in the hospital room, uh, but because he got up, we can get up. Uh, we can be messed up, uh, amen, and about to lose our case, uh, but because he got up, we got a lawyer. We can be uh, without a mother or father, but because he got up, he's a mother to the motherless uh, and a father to the fatherless. Uh, we might be in a situation uh, where there is no food on the table and nothing in the cupboard, uh, but because he got up, uh, he will have, uh, make sure uh, that all our needs are supplied. Uh, and for those uh, who find themselves hopeless, uh, and for those uh, who thought their life was dead, uh, but you desire to live, uh, because he got up, uh, you can live too. Uh, I don't know about nobody else, uh, but because he got up, because he lives, uh, all fear is gone. Because he lives, uh, we know who holds the future. Because he lives, uh, all life is worth living just because he lives. Uh, and this morning, I want you to know that we too can shout. Uh, we too can, amen, join in the celebration of the resurrection of life through Christ Jesus. No matter how dead our situation seems sometimes, no matter how bad it looks, let me invite you, amen, to do the same thing that was done over 2,000 years ago. I want you to come in and I want you to see the place where the Lord lay. I want you to see the place where they laid him in the tomb. I want you to see the place where the Savior once lay and know that, yes, once he was dead, but now he is risen and he lives forevermore. I want you to come and see the place where the one who laid uh, promised amen that told us amen to let our hearts not be troubled uh, that if you believe in God uh, believe also in him uh, so that when this life is over uh, that we don't have to fear death uh, but in his father's house uh, he was going away to prepare a place where there might be many mansions uh, and if it were not so uh, he wouldn't have told us that. Uh, he said y'all he was going to prepare a place for us. Uh, he got up uh, so that he might go, amen, to get it ready for us. Uh, and so that till we get there, uh, he might be an intercessor for us. Amen. And said that I'm going to come again. Uh, amen. And receive it to myself. Uh, that where I am uh, as your risen Savior, where I am uh, as your mighty conqueror, where I am uh, as your deliverer, you may be also and the good news this morning is amen because he got up when this life is over.
over, you and I going to get up. Uh, I don't know if you know it this morning, but all flesh is not the same flesh. Uh, there's a flesh of men, uh, and there's a flesh of the beasts. Uh, there's another flesh of the birds, uh, and there's a flesh of the fish. Uh, there are celestial bodies, uh, and there are terrestrial bodies. Uh, but the glory of the celestial is one, uh, and the glory of terrestrial is another. Uh, amen. I want you to know this morning, there's also a resurrection of the dead. Uh, because these bodies are sown in corruption, and but they'll be raised in incorruption. Uh, these bodies are sown in dishonor, uh, but they shall be raised in glory. They are sown in weakness, uh, but they shall be raised in power. How do you know that, Pastor Michael? Because he lives, uh, that he is a risen Savior. And so I want you to understand uh, that which now is sown as a natural body shall be raised as a spiritual body. Amen. Because it was written uh, that the first man was made a living soul uh, but the last man, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit uh, the first man was made of earth uh, but the second is the Lord from heaven. Uh, I want you to understand this morning uh, that that which is born of the earthly as it shall be, be earthly but that which is born and bears the image of the heavenly is heavenly and because he got up y'all uh, and because he lives uh, I can tell you this morning uh, with the blessed assurance uh, that you ain't got to worry about what's going on down here uh, because we already know uh, that flesh and blood uh, cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Uh, but, but, but behold, uh, I'm going to show you a mystery. The Bible says we shall not all sleep, uh, but we shall be changed uh, in a moment uh, and in a twinkling of an eye. For this Jesus who has been raised up. Uh, this Jesus, uh, who, amen, they saw a sin on this day. Uh, this Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost, uh, who is, amen, declared that in three days he would raise the temple up. Uh, this Jesus, uh, who they saw a sin in the book of Acts, uh, this Jesus has declared, amen, that he will come to receive us on his own. Uh, and those who will die in Christ uh, shall get to see him. Uh, those who are alive and remain uh, in Christ uh, shall get to see him. Uh, and he is uh, gone for right now. But he is uh, a soon to return king. Uh, and when he comes back, uh, those who rejoice in his birth this morning, those who rejoice in his life this morning, those who rejoice in his crucifixion, and certainly those who rejoice in his resurrection shall see the promise of God come true. Uh, that in a moment uh, and in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump uh, when it sounds y'all uh, the dead shall be raised uh, incorruptible and we shall be changed uh, this corruptible we're in now shall put on incorruptible because he lives uh, and this mortal that we find ourselves in now shall put on immortality because he lives and uh, because Jesus who was a man the carpenter the son of an earthly Joseph has now been declared uh, Jesus, uh, the Christ, uh, the son of the living God, uh, has made it so uh, that when this corruptible shall put on incorruptible, and when this mortal shall put on immortality, then it shall be brought to pass uh, the saying which is written, uh, oh, help me, Holy Ghost, uh, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Uh, oh, grave, where where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, uh, and the strength of sin is the law. Uh, but somebody ought to shout this morning because he rose. Uh, somebody ought to shout this morning because he lives. Uh, and shout this morning and echo the words of every amen scripture writer, amen, of the gospel when they say, but thanks be to God, uh, but thanks be to God, uh, but thanks be to God, uh, which give us us the victory through our Lord Jesus, who is the Christ. Help me, Holy Spirit. And I don't know about nobody else, but I rejoice this morning because it's a rough life down here. It's a hard life down here. But because he lives and because he rose, the Bible declares he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. 
going to take us home, y'all, to our heavenly home. And even though we got to go through a whole bunch of hell down here, amen, when he were caught up to meet him in the air, it'll be the end of all hell. We'll get to go to a place where there's no more crying there. There's no more dying there. Amen. The Bible declares that the wicked shall cease their troubling and the weary shall be at rest. Not because of anything we've done. Not because of anything we said. But because by grace through faith are we saved. It is a gift of God. And we get that gift because Jesus, who is the Christ, came, talked, was crucified, buried. But on this morning, we celebrate with Jesus joy because he rose and we shout hallelujah because he lives. Come on, somebody. Give God a hand praise this morning because he lives. He rose and he lives forevermore. Oh, I got to get out of here. I bless the Lord. Amen. For you this morning. Amen. Come on. We got to get out of here. Amen. I want to bless you for, amen, for all that you've done. Amen. As we remember, we're going to be back this morning. We're going to come back at um, 12 for our noonday service. I know many of you all, like a lot of folks, once you do this morning service, that's it for you for the day. And you ain't coming back at 12, but because you think I'm going to preach the same message. But I got news for you. Got a different word. Got a different word at 12 o'clock. Ain't going to be no leftovers. It's a different word at 12 o'clock. So come on back, y'all. Come on back and let's pray. Amen. Have church. You ain't got nothing to do. You ain't going nowhere. Nobody can see your hair did. You, can't, you got your nails done. You just got to show them off in your house. But come on back with us at 12 o'clock. Amen. And we are doing communion. Yes, we are, Miss Robinette. Come on back. Amen. So we can do communion together at 12 o'clock on this first Sunday. And we can talk again about what thus saith the Lord. Come on. Pray with me as we leave this morning. God, I bless you. And I thank you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, and what we felt in our hearts. We thank you, God, that on this day we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, who you, amen, declared to be the Christ. We celebrate the fact that the word became flesh, that it dwelt among us. We got a chance to behold his glory. That God, you saw fit to close out, amen, man's redemption story where we were divided in the garden, you used Jesus, your only son, as a bridge to redeem us back to you. And God, we're forever grateful on this morning. Our prayer is, God, that somebody on this day might understand the sacrifice that you made on our behalf of giving your only begotten son, and that they might, on this day, choose whom they're going to serve. What greater gift to give back to you than to give one's life in service for the Lord. And so we thank you, God. We ask that you would go with us, stand by us, renew us even now, pour back into us, God, so that we might come back together. Give us time, each and every one of us, so that we might share again, fellowship again, study and worship again in spirit and in truth during our noonday hour of power. We thank you. And we bless you. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. Present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior. Be both grace, majesty, dominion, and power. Henceforth now and ever. Let the church of the living God say amen and amen. God bless you. For some of you all, I won't see you. So be safe today. Have a great day. Have a great day. Come on. But for those who are going to be back at 12, remember, we're going to do communion. And so I'll see you then. God bless you. You know I love you. Celebrate this day that Jesus, amen, who was dead, is alive forevermore. I bless you. See you at 12 o'clock. God bless you. Go in peace.